Goodfellas, a Martin Scorsese film based on a true story, has inspired various theories about its plot, including the possibility that Henry Hill was the one who betrayed Tommy DeVito. If you search hard enough, you'll find plenty of theories about the movie and its characters. So today, I've decided to shed some light on one particular fan-favorite theory. Did Henry rat out Tommy? Stay tuned to find out! Goodfellas, a movie released in 1990, tells the story of Henry Hill, portrayed by Ray Liotta, and his involvement with a Lucchese crime family. The movie is based on the book Wise Guy by Nicholas Pileggi and covers Henry's journey from a teenager working for Paul Cicero and his crew in Brooklyn to his decision to become an FBI informant and enter the Witness Protection Program. Throughout his time in the mob, Henry befriends notable figures such as Jimmy the Gent Conway and Tommy DeVito. Goodfellas depicts some of the criminal activities of the trio, but only Tommy is ultimately killed for his actions. Out of the three, only Tommy is considered for a made man status, but he's tricked and executed for the murder of Billy Bats. The movie leaves a question as to how the Gambino family knew of Tommy's involvement in the murder, leading to various theories including the possibility that Henry may have informed on his friend. Billy Batts is a member of the Gambino crime family who has a history with Tommy. After being released from prison, Batts visits a nightclub owned by Henry and begins taunting Tommy about his past as a shoeshiner. This causes Tommy to lose his temper and he leaves the club with his date. He returns later with Jimmy and kills Batts with Jimmy's help. The gang then bury Batts' body in upstate New York to avoid retaliation from the Gambino family as the murder of a made man without the boss's permission is a serious offense. The actions of Tommy eventually lead to his own death, but it's not clear how the Gambino family found out about his involvement in the murder. It's very likely that Henry may have been the one who ratted out Tommy to Polly. The theory is based on a few different factors, one being that at the end of Goodfellas, Henry becomes an FBI informant and betrays the crew, leading them to spend life in jail. So it's possible that he could have turned against Tommy first. Additionally, it seems unlikely that Jimmy would betray Tommy and Henry, but Henry may have done so in order to protect himself as he was already on thin ice after getting involved in illegal drug activities. While Goodfellas doesn't show any specific reason for Henry to betray Tommy, in real life, Henry Hill had a solid motive. He revealed that his wife Karen had an affair with Polly while he was in jail, and that she told Polly that Tommy had attempted to rape her. This leads to the widely held belief that Polly was the one who informed the Gambino crime family about Tommy's involvement in the murder of Billy Bats. While the movie Goodfellas does not depict Karen's affair or the attempted rape, it's possible that this could have been a reason for Henry to betray Tommy. The real-life inspiration for the character Tommy DeVito in Goodfellas was Tommy DeSimone, an associate of the Lucchese crime family. DeSimone, like in the film, was involved in the Lufthansa heist and committed several murders, including that of William Billy Bats Bentvena in 1970 and Ronald Gerothi in 1974, who was a protege of John Gotti an associate of the Gambino crime family. DeSimone was reported missing by his wife in January 1979, and his body was never found, leading to the belief that he was murdered by the Gambinos in retaliation for the murder of Bats. The details around DeSimone's death remain a mystery, with theories pointing to Thomas Agro as the killer and Henry Hill claiming much later that it was John Gotti himself who pulled the trigger. Goodfellas adds to the mystery of DeSimone's death. By now, you probably know that all the characters from the movie have their own real-life counterpart. The true story behind the killing of Billy Batts, whose real name was William Bent Fenna, is even more brutal than depicted in the movie. He was a close associate of the infamous John Gotti and was murdered in 1970 shortly after being released from prison for drug trafficking. In the movie, Tommy repeatedly beats him with a gun until he appears to be dead. As a made man, Billy was protected from harm by lower-ranking members of the mob, so Tommy and his associates had to quickly dispose of the body. The altercation between Billy Bats and Tommy, including the shoeshine insults, did occur in reality. But what subsequently happened is a bit different. Tommy waited for about two weeks after the shoeshine incident before unleashing his full wrath on Billy. 
Him and Jimmy beat him to death with a shovel and a tire iron before getting rid of the body. This fact makes it a bit less obvious for the Gambino family to point the finger on Tommy for his sudden disappearance. It's not certain that Henry did rat out Tommy, but in real life all things seem to point to exactly that. Henry had a good reason to do it, plus he worked with the FBI which obviously makes him less trustworthy, in this context at least. Throughout the film, Tommy and Henry are shown as inseparable, with Tommy often relying on Henry to help him carry out various criminal activities. However, as the film progresses, Henry begins to have doubts about his life as a gangster and starts to distance himself from Tommy and the rest of the gang. As tensions rise, Henry ultimately decides to turn informant and cooperate with the FBI in order to take down the rest of the gang and, more importantly, save his own ass. This betrayal highlights the dangerous and unpredictable nature of the criminal underworld. It also serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of trusting others, particularly in the criminal world where loyalty is often tested and friendships can be fleeting. What do you think about this theory? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to hear the latest about your favorite mob movies, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.